What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustMartech.com and this is another tutorial in Unix shell scripting. Now, in this class I'm going to talk about variables and I'm going to show you guys how to use them. Now let's get started. The first thing we're going to need to do is uh, click in the terminal or launch the terminal. Now we're going to want to go to the root directory. To do that we're going to use the CD code for change directory, hit space and use this forward slash. The forward slash is the root directory. We're going to hit enter and now we're in the root directory. Now, our last video, we created a folder which I called blue. Now, I'm going to use the dir code to list all the folders and files in this directory. I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, our folder blue is in the root directory. So, now we're going to need to get to that folder blue. To do that, we're going to use the cd code again for change directory. We're going to hit space, use the forward slash for root directory, and we're going to type in the folder name within the root directory, which is blue. Now, we're going to hit enter. Now we're in the folder named blue in our root directory. Now I'm going to use the dir code again for listing anything in this directory. Hit enter. And as you can see, I created a couple different uh, shell scripts here. Now we're going to create a new one again. So to, to do that, we're going to use the vim code again, which is the code for launching a text editor. We're going to hit space and we got to give our file a name. Let's call mine. Uh, red2. Then we got to use the .sh extension. Every time we create a shell script we have to use the .sh extension. So we're going to hit enter. Now we're in the text editor. Now we're going to type in the i which is going to uh, put us in insert mode and uh, with every shell script program you have to have this in uh, the first line. You have to use the hashtag symbol or a pound symbol, whatever you want to call it, the exclamation point, forward slash, B-I-N, forward slash, S-H. Remember that in every shell script program, you have to have that in there. Now we're going to type in enter, and we have to have clear in here too. So type in clear, hit enter. We're going to hit enter a couple of times. Now we can start coding. Now, if you guys are familiar with other programming, this should come natural to you. So we got to start off by giving our variable a name. You can name it anything we want. I'm going to call mine VAR1. So in other programming languages, we're used to hitting space, then using the equal sign and hitting space to give our variable value, right? Here, we can't use any spaces. So next to the variable name with no spaces, we got to use the equal symbol. Then uh, let's say if we, if, if we want to give it a string value, we have to use this double quote here. So let's do that right now. I'm going to give this a string value. Let's call this hello. All right. So we, we declared a variable, which we called bar1, and we made it equal to the string hello. Right. Now we're going to hit enter. Now we want to, now we're going to want to print this string on the screen. To do that, we're going to uh, use the code echo, which is the code for print on screen. We're going to hit space. Now, anytime we're invoking a variable, we have to use this uh, dollar slash money symbol here. After the dollar slash money symbol, we're going to type in our variable name, which is var1. And uh, that's pretty much it. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to hit the escape button. So we can get down to here. We're going to use the colon. And then we're going to type in wq, which is the the code for save and quit. We're going to hit enter. Now we just saved our document. Now we're going to want to give it permission. To do that, we have to type in chmod, hit space, use the plus symbol, use the x next to it, hit space, and then we're going to type in our file name, which is red2.sh. Sorry, sh. Now we're going to hit enter. Now we gave our file permission. Now we can launch the program. Now to launch the program, we use the dot and forward slash, sorry, dot forward slash, then our file name, which is red 2sh Now we're going to hit enter. As you can see, it worked. It printed our variable, which contained a string value of hello. Now let's go back to our, uh, our file. We're going to type in vim again which launches the text editor, and we're going to type in the file we just created, which was red2.sh. We're going to edit that uh, script. Now, let's say, okay, again, if you want to start editing or, or inserting characters, you got to type in i first, 
then as you can see here now we're in insert mode now we're gonna scroll down here I'm gonna delete this uh, declaration right here I'm gonna keep the VAR equals but I'm gonna delete the quotation now let's say you're working with integers we don't need to use uh, quotations quotations are only for strings so let's say we want to make, let's say we want to make our variable equal to 2 we can do that so all you have to do is uh, type in our variable name like we did with no spaces type in equal and again no spaces and type in our value I want to make this have an integer value of 2 go back I want to make this have an integer value of 2 okay so now we declared a variable which we named variable 1 and we made it to equal to the integer 2 now let's uh, print this on the screen Hit enter and uh, we already have the code for uh, printing this variable so again we're gonna hit the escape key here we're gonna type in the colon WQ which is the code for save and quit we're gonna hit enter now we're gonna use the dot again forward slash to launch our shell script and we're gonna type in the name of the file which is red 2.sh we're gonna hit enter and as you can see it printed out the integer too all right guys so that's pretty much it for this tutorial if you guys like this video please give me a like if you want more videos like this please subscribe to my channel i'm Rustin from rossmartech.com and thanks for watching